Hey everybody, this is Robert from Black Belt Gaming. Trying to teach myself Star Wars X-Wing the Miniatures game. I am late getting on board with this one, but I've heard a lot of good things about it and I'm excited to give it a try. While I was in the States recently, I managed to um, pick up a few pieces for this game. I've got the basic set and I've got uh, a couple of expansions for it and I'll be using some of those uh, in my first playthrough here just for the sake of variety. Um, I'm adding into instead of just the basic two TIE Fighters and one X-Wing I am adding a TIE Advanced and a Y-Wing into the battle. I've taken a look at the point values on the cards and things should uh, come out about even. I have not yet done, even in practice, a complete playthrough of the game. I've simply gone through a few steps to see if I could get a basic feel for how things worked before I turned the camera on. So I'm going to try this mission one and I'll, I know that uh, this sets up the game with two TIE Fighters, one X-Wing and the shuttle. I will be uh, attempting this with the extra two pieces I spoke about, the TIE Advanced and the Y-Wing. So let's give it a try. I've got here a uh, playing mat. This is actually used for Mahjong. So it's a little uh, undersized. It's not going to give me a play area as big as I think what your uh, standard play area is, which is three by three if I understand correctly. This is smaller than that, um, but I'm just going to use that to get the action started and, and try to learn how to play. I've got over here the uh, TIE Fighters set up, uh, TIE Fighter 1 and 2, and the TIE Advanced here with its two shield tokens. Over here, that card uh, at the top, the Rebel card there, that's for the shuttle. Uh, the Senator shuttle, which we have to get uh, safely to the other side of the board. And we've got the uh, Red Squadron pilot and, um, what is it, Dutch Vander flying the Y-Wing and the appropriate uh, shield tokens there. So, here is my opponent today. He will be taking care of the uh, actions for the, the TIE Fighters. And um, let's see what happens. Well, I'm taking a look at the quick reference, uh, the planning phase. Each player secretly plans his ship's maneuvers by assigning them face down. And then we move into an activation phase where I believe we uh, perform an action in ascending order of pilot skill. All right, so ascending order of pilot skill. So that means that the lower number uh, pilots are gonna go first. So they reveal their maneuver dial and uh, carry out the maneuver. And then each ship may perform one action. Well, the TIE Fighters each have a uh, pilot rating of one. So I'm going to assign each of them the maneuver of five straight ahead. They're trying to get over there to the uh, Senator shuttle and shoot it down as quickly as possible. All right, using this uh, measuring device here, each of the TIE Fighters has advanced uh, five forward. And now we'll see who goes next. It looks like we've got a tie here. The tie advanced is set uh, to four, and the uh, red squadron pilot is also at four. So I believe if I read the rules, I uh, kind of read them quickly, but I think the, the Imperial TIE fighter will actually go first. But before I move the TIE advanced and the X-wing, I think I need to give each of the TIE fighters one action. I think they want their first shots to hit, so we'll give each of the uh, the TIE Fighters here this, uh, what is it called, Concentration Token. And I believe that lets them turn any, um, any of these results into hits, if I'm not mistaken. I've also given the uh, TIE Advanced the same maneuver. He'll move up and kind of reform the formation they were in on the edge of the board here. An action for uh, this one, 
I think he's too far away for a target lock since we've got the other pieces down this way. So I guess he will do the same and take one of those uh, eyeball tokens. I was trying to look and see when the Senator shuttle would make its move and it says here just in the uh, mission rules that um, at the start of each activation phase and that was when you reveal your dial uh, the shuttle's going to need to take a um, soft turn one or uh, a two straight ahead so probably I guess we should have moved it first so let's go ahead and move it now and we'll remember that in the future we'll move it two straight ahead that's probably what I would have done just right at the beginning So there we go. Now please understand I am playing through this mission to learn the game. It's not really a matter of winning. <laughs> Either way I'm gonna win. So I'm trying to see how things uh, work. So I won't be making the most uh, strategic choices here. Uh, I am trying on purpose to just get in there and mix it up. So. I think I'll need to go with the X-Wing next. Um, the maneuver would have already been chosen and then we reveal the dial. Chosen a uh, four straight ahead for the X-Wing. So let's get him moved up. I think the X-Wing here, although it can protect, take a uh, protect action, I think instead I'm going to have the X-Wing lead the attack on these TIE Fighters. So for its action I think we're gonna take a target lock and I'll fish out the tokens for that I believe it's a red and a blue so I think we put the blue here with our our TIE fighter and then um, we choose one of these ships to to shoot at so let's see I guess the toughest ship is the leader should we go for that one? Maybe let's try to go for one of the um, the little guys. Uh, why don't we try to take out number one over here? We'll have the Y wing take a uh, three ahead. It looked like if I'd gone with a four, uh, it would have been uh, a stress token on the ship. So I think sooner or later I'm going to be finding out what those do, but we'll start with uh, three ahead, just kind of a head-on, face-to-face uh, battle coming up. So not quite as far as the X-Wing, but still close enough to try out a few things here. Range. What kind of range do we have? This is within uh, two, I believe. Probably within range two of each of these other ships. That's what it looks like. I think for the Y-Wing, I'll have it as a rebel ship uh, perform a protect action. And I think what I can do there is uh, give it a um, evade token that it can use in its defense. So we'll put that evade token there on the Senator's shuttle. All right, I think it's time to head into our first combat phase. Each ship may perform one attack in descending order of pilot skill. Each ship can attack one enemy ship that is inside its firing arc and within range. Well, with a uh, pilot rating of six, this seems to be the highest one. Uh, Dutch Bander here. And, um, let me take a closer look at Dutch's card. It looks like it may have something on there. This looks like the only ship card I have in play that uh, is going to do anything different. Uh, on the other cards it looks like flavor text, but this one, uh, Dutch here, the Y-Wing, has a uh, special ability. After acquiring a target lock, choose another friendly ship at range 1 or 2. The chosen ship may immediately acquire a target lock. So I guess I just learned a valuable uh, lesson there. I probably could have had the X-Wing give the protect 
uh, evade token here to the shuttle. And then I could have had the Y-Wing acquire a target lock. And then the X-Wing could have also acquired a target lock. So that probably would have been the better choice. But we will go with uh, what we've said so far. So we need to declare a target. And I think we will go with this uh, TIE Fighter up here, number one. And let me get out my uh, phone. I'm going to use my application here to roll the dice. Okay, we have declared the target. The range looks like it's two, so I don't think that adds or changes any or modifies any of the basic information for the attack rolls. So we'll be attacking with, it looks like uh, two, uh, two of the attack dice. And then the TIE Fighters are pretty fast and they're going to have a defense of uh, three. So let's give this a roll and see what we come up with. For the attack, uh, green has got a focus and the attack roll for the Y-Wing is, that looks like a critical hit. So let me see how I need to resolve this. Well, there's a handy little um, bit of information here, focus. It looks like that you can use and uh, a focus token to change one of the results to an evade. So with uh, one hit we can use the evade here to escape taking any damage. So why don't we have TIE Fighter number one uh, use its token to uh, get a evade token or use of evade and not take any damage. So TIE Fighter number one will lose this token and remain undamaged. Well, I believe the Y-Wing's actions have, uh, as far as combat, has finished, so we need to move on to the level four pilots. And we've got a tie between the Rebels and Imperial ships. So it looks like the Imperial ship will have the initiative and therefore take its combat action first. Yes, 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 we see that you're excited. You have the initiative. Well, let's see, the TIE Advanced is within two of the Senator's shuttle. And I believe they win this uh, mission by taking out the Senator's shuttle. So it's gonna take a shot at the shuttle. All right, so taking its shot, it's gonna use two attack dice the shuttle will use two for defense let's give it a roll and we've actually come up with one evade without even needing to use the evade token so the shot mists our x-wing pilot is up next and is firing at also range two the uh, tie fighter number one and I think the uh, X-Wing has a little bit better uh, attack. So we get three attack dice instead of two, but the TIE Fighters are fast. They're gonna get three for defense. So let's give it a roll and see what happens. All right, we've come up with uh, one hit. We don't have... Um, we don't have any concentration uh, or focus that came up for that TIE Fighter, so I don't think that they can... No, they already spent theirs on defense, didn't they? Yeah. All right, well, um, with the target lock, I, I think you're supposed to be able to re-roll uh, any number of dice that you want. And I think the target lock can stay on the ship, even if I don't spend it now. So what to do here? Maybe what I'll do is uh, just try it out. And I'm going to select this die to re-roll. 
And look at that, we got an extra hit. So we actually managed to end up with uh, two regular hits against uh, TIE Fighter number one. Okay, so I think that uh, spins the uh, target locks. So those tokens are removed. And then I think we need to go get some damage cards. Uh, two cards from the damage deck, but face down. They're not critical hits. So TIE Fighter number one. Um, in the yellow there, we see a three. It has three hull points, no shields. So we'll put uh, a couple of damage cards up there to indicate it's been hit twice. One more hit and it will be destroyed. Well, I think we're down to the TIE Fighters, uh, the basic TIE Fighters. They seem to be within two range of the shuttle and both of them will concentrate their fire on the Senator's shuttle. So TIE Fighter number one, although damaged, is still uh, dangerous. So let's see what happens. All right, uh, TIE Fighter number one. Oops, took uh, one too many. Let's, let's delete one of those. Two attack dice. The shuttle is only going to get two for defense. Let's give it a roll and see how we do. Well, it looks like uh, for the defense, we've got a focus. That's, uh, that's not really going to help us. And we've got one hit. However, we do have this one evade token. And I think we'll go ahead and spend it to cancel uh, that regular hit. So the shuttle uh, was protected by the X-Wing and remains undamaged. All right, the last... TIE Fighter, TIE Fighter number two, will take its shot. It's also within two range, so no special adjustments that I'm aware of. So once again, just like the other ship, it's two to two here. Let's see what the outcome is. Well, we've got a red uh, focus, and we do have a... Uh, focus here so we should be able to modify this um, into into a hit or can you change that into a critical hit probably not let's go ahead and go with a regular hit there so it looks like um, it looks like we may have rolled a hit and a critical hit on the shuttle and then we have a green focus that's not going to do anything and we don't have any more evade tokens so this is indeed uh, two damage to the shuttle I'm not really sure about critical damage on the shuttle okay there it is it says change all critical hits against the senator shuttle to regular hits that's it. So I believe that's two damage to the shuttle. Uh, face down damage cards. And we've got a great hit on the shuttle. Yes, yes. Nice shot. Nice shot. So we've got our ships kind of in each other's faces. Um, it looks like we're heading into the end phase. And you remove all evade and focus tokens. Uh, target lock tokens and stress tokens remain until certain conditions are met and after completing the end phase the round is over so we had one uh, focus token remaining so that's discarded taking a look uh, up this way we've got two damage on TIE fighter number one and two damage on the shuttle so I guess I would give it uh, advantage to the TIE fighters at this point well that is my first real attempt here of trying to play X-Wing the miniatures game. Um, for any of you that have experience with the game, let me know if I missed anything uh, important or if I missed anything at all. Uh, according to your response, if things look good, uh, we'll move forward and try to play out another uh, round here and see what happens, see if we can get this shuttle across the board. 
But thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you later.